everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And today, I wanted to do a video ranking lip balms. And I wanted to focus specifically on tinted lip balms. The products that fit into this criteria are lip products that are moisturizing and hydrating that have a little bit of tint to it. So I have an array of products here that fit into that category that I want to one try on for you all and rank their formulations based on which ones I personally like the best. So of course I'm gonna start from nine and work my way up to number one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it and let me know some of your favorite lip balms down below in the comment section. And I hope you enjoy. So the lip balm that comes in in the ninth spot is the Benefit California Kiss Scent Lip Balm. And this one says that it's a moisturizing lip balm and I don't disagree, but I do feel like it could be just a little bit more moisturizing than it is. It needs to have a little bit more hydration and I do feel like that is lacking in this product because when I put it on, it doesn't have that slip that I'm looking for, nor does it have that shine to really give me that hydrating element that I crave when I reach for a product like this one. It's a little bit more matte, almost teetering on a satin type finish because it does have a shine element there. But just the slip and the opacity of it leaves me with wanting a little bit more. This one does have a good amount of shades here, so I do feel like that's good. But for me, if I were gonna use this product, I would definitely pair it in a lip combination and put a lip gloss on top of it just to give it a little bit more of that glossy, hydrating element that I need on my lips. But for this to be a lip balm, I just kind of want it to be a one and done type product and I don't feel like this quite lives up to that expectation. This does have hyaluronic acid in there, so please do not think that this is a drying product, but in comparison to some of the others that landed on this list, it doesn't quite give me exactly what they do, so therefore it's number nine. Next, we have a product from Chanel. And I know you all find it hard to believe that Chanel is number eight, like what? Yes, this product definitely could give me a little bit more than what it did. This one is the Rouge Coco Flash Hydrating Vibrant Shine Lip Color. And I honestly didn't find this lip product to be that hydrating or that shiny. Now, it's not a bad product. None of the products on this list are. It's just if we're ranking them, we have to look at each one critically against the other ones. And so this one is number eight. And it is more of a satin formulation, which is not bad. It's just the fact that the tagline of this product says it is a hydrating vibrant shine lip color and I don't think it's really hydrating. I don't feel like it has a vibrant shine. I just think it's more so of a laid back, very subdued type product and it doesn't feel bad. Of course it's gonna have a nice cushion to it because it is Chanel. And Chanel is not gonna give us just any old thing. So it definitely works and I like it. However, it doesn't feel hydrating and it says on the website that this gives an intense color and I beg to differ. This left me with wanting a little bit more. What I like the most about this is the packaging, but the lip product is just, eh, it's okay. We have the Galon Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipstick Balm. And the packaging of this is to die. When you look at it, it really catches your eye and it makes you stop and say, hey, what is that? Because it's just shiny. It looks unlike anything else that you have, so it stands out. You can find it really fast. And I think the overall concept of it is really cool. But when we get on the inside and we focus solely on the product and not the packaging, I do feel like there were certain mishaps here that if they had omitted it, it would have been better. For instance, this product is heavily fragrant, which I don't mind a fragrance makeup product. I actually like it, especially in high-end products because I like the pleasant smell that they give and it makes me feel like I'm transported into a luxury universe. So I'm here for it. It doesn't bother me unless it's too much, which this one is just a little bit much, especially for the type product that it is. It's a balm. It naturally is gonna move around on your lips. So when you're talking, when you're just sitting there, most people sit there and go like this with the lip balm. 
just because it feels good and it's a natural tick that a lot of people do that they don't realize that they're doing and so you are going to consume some of this product and because it's so fragrant it actually has a bit of a taste to it which I don't really care for it's maybe just tone it down just a little bit but aside from the fragrance aspect of this product I feel like it could have been a little bit more opaque and the fact of the matter is is that this is very sheer so that tells me that I really only need to buy one maybe two of these because once you get it on the lips you're not gonna be able to tell the difference anyways because it's so sheer and I think that's kind of a missed opportunity and it's very redundant to have all of these let me count so there's two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20 different shades of these, right? So for it to be 20 different shades, I guarantee you that there are only five different looks that you can get across the entire board of this line. Sometimes you gotta know when to hold it and you need to know when to fold it, okay? Next, we have some Shonsekai. This is their Lip Tint Hydrating Balm and I feel like it does everything that it says it's supposed to do. It gives you a little bit of a tint, it's hydrating. But amongst these other choices, that I have I wouldn't say that it's a superstar this is a hydrating formula it gives you that color you put it on you don't have to think about it it's slim so it fits in whatever you need it to fit in if you have a little bitty clutch if you put it in your pocket you can do that but to me the description is perfect for no makeup makeup because if I had on full glam I would not pull this out to put this on because it's not going to give me that color impact and I feel like there would be an imbalance in my makeup. So this is definitely just for if you want to hydrate your lips because the color is very sheer and it doesn't translate very boldly. So it's good but it's not my absolute favorite amongst everything that I have right here. Next we have some Gucci. This is the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant Glow and Care Shine Lipstick. Now this is not classified as a lip balm but to me it has the characteristics of a lip balm because it's sheer it has a little bit of a tint of color to it and it has some really cool ingredients like flower oils it has fruit butters to moisturize and it has hyaluronic acid so you catch my drift as to why I included it in this video even though it's technically classified as a lipstick and I said this in my video review of this one but I don't like the packaging it I don't know it makes my flesh crawl so I just have to look past that and just look at the product <laughs> and I really like this product I like the slip that it gives it has a nice shine to it it is a little bit lightweight so you do have to reapply it quite often but I don't mind that because it does feel good when it does so when it's on your lips you enjoy it but you do have to constantly reapply it but when you reapply it you don't have to do the most to get that opacity like some of the other products you might have to build it up four and five times to get it to even do something but with this one you just put on a little one a little two and it does what it needs to do you don't have to keep going around in circles to try to build it up so that's a good thing even though you have to reapply it more often you have to apply a little bit less so technically you're probably using just as much of this as you would anything else because with other stuff you got to build it up a little bit more so you might be going in four circles throwing that thing around in a circle before you get it to show up so don't count stuff out just because of that so this is something that I have remembered even with trying so many other lip balms this year I still reach for these so that should say something next we have some Fenty on the list so this one I really, really like, but I do have to give you all an update that mine do not smell as fresh as I would expect them to. Now I know with this type product, you are not going to get a lifetime guarantee. There is a limited lifespan on these type products because they're often made with so many ingredients that are not going to stay stable for forever. But I don't feel like I've had these for a year yet and I already smell that slight tinge of it's about to turn. It hasn't quite turned yet. I might be able to wear it for maybe another month, but I'm gonna have to toss these very, very soon. These I liked a lot when they came out. I actually bought the entire range and did a dedicated video to them, which I was intrigued by these and I still really like them because I think the colors are really beautiful, especially the shade Make Out Break, which is my favorite type nude. It's a little bit lighter and it has that really nice glossy finish to it, so I'm always here for that. This would have ranked higher on the list had I not opened it and uh, it went bad and these have been stored in their boxes 
in a dark environment so it shouldn't have changed this fast in my opinion but just keep that in mind if you are interested in these but these are so comfortable on the lips and I love how these can function as both a lip product you know one that you will wear with your glam or if you just want to throw it on when you're not wearing makeup it won't look out of place there either next on the list is the Dior Addict lip glow and I really really like this shade it's called rosewood because it is like my lips but better this is what I wish my lips looked like without coercing them to look like that and this one has a really nice amount of slip to it like I said the Fenty one I like a little bit better formula wise so if it hadn't turned the ranking might have been reversed for this one in the Fenty one but trust I still like this one a lot as well because it feels really nourishing on the lips and this one really gives you that moisturizing property in addition to giving it a really nice color. So it has cherry oil, shea butter, sunflower and rice waxes plus other things that just really come together and give you a really nice experience with the lip balm plus I love the shade it's really that comfortable that I can't see too many people putting it on and saying I don't like this texture it's universally appealing we're down to the last two so you all know I had to include a little mother on the list so this is her lip fetish divino lip shine series and I really like these because Again, these are super diverse in that you can wear these with your glam, but there are also other colors within the line that are a little bit more natural and you can go with those and they just feel so good. They offer such amazing pigmentation. I love the color intensity and I just love the way that they wear. I think they're very beautiful. They're smooth. They're glossy. It's just perfection because it's not anything that is going to create lines, which I hate that when you have the lines of separation. I love that it remains intact and opaque throughout the entire time that you wear it and you'll know when it's time to reapply because you'll start to feel it slowly wearing off the lips so I feel like the wear time is very even on these and I love the shade range. I would like to see her come out with even more of these in neutral ranges because I know in the initial launch she gave us a few neutrals but she also gave us pinks and she gave us this punchy orange which I love to have the variety but I also... I like neutrals but I think these are really nice they feel so good on the lips and they really really hydrate and moisturize so this is definitely one of my favorite lip tints even though it's not called a lip tint number one on the list is this product from Charlotte Tilbury and this is her hyaluronic happy kiss lipstick balm and oh my goodness I love these so much because these are the glossiest of the glossy of the glossy these outgloss all of the other eight in the lineup this one gives you that super juicy lip application and I love it and on top of that it has hyaluronic acid in there so your lips are going to feel so hydrated and moisturized after you put this on I love that they just glide on I love their wear time I love the glossy effects and I think that this is a beautiful product that if you like lip balm and tinted lip balms then you'll love this because it has every single element that I like about all of the other ones rolled into one and it's even glossier but it's not sticky it feels good and it actually makes a difference when you take it off so this one is my absolute favorite and I rank it number one so I know that was a lot to cover let me know if you all have ever tried any of these products that I tried out because there have been so many new advancements in the lip balm industry that I'm looking forward to even more. So this could definitely just be a part one because this particular lip product is gaining popularity. This was really fun. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments section and let me know some of your favorites that I may have not tried as well. If you like videos like this and you want to see me rank more things then leave your suggestions down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell before you leave to become a Kel Bell and I will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye